For those of you who don't know how to open the console, go to settings, game, enable developer console, yes, and then press this key on your keyboard. Also, make sure to open up notepad and whatever binds or commands you'd like, paste them in here as we will create an auto execute file for you at the end of the video. Now let's begin. Voice loopback true will allow you to hear what you sound like in game. Hello? So if you ever think that your teammates are ignoring you, maybe it's just your mic that's not working. The jump crouch bind. This is one of the most useful binds on the list. It allows you to make jumps like this one in Mirage and or box jumps like this one. To bind it, type the following three commands or just copy and paste them from the description. Now, every time you press space, you will jump crouch and make sure to put this in your notepad. And for normal jumps, bind it to mouse wheel down. This will allow you to bunny hop and develop insane movement, which if you don't know how to do, stay tuned as I'm uploading a video very soon. Number four, CL underscore show FPS one. This will obviously show how much FPS you're getting in game. Next, we have a little Easter egg. If you type quit smoking, something insane will happen. Boys, heard of the new fucking console. Easter egg, it's in my new video. Type quit smoking in the fucking console. It like takes a cigarette out of your mouth. Oh. As if you did it, as if you did it. <laughs> It just makes you quit the game, but it's a cool joke to play on your friends. To improve your gameplay, I would suggest binding your grenades so you don't have to flick through them when you're trying to clutch. The easiest way to do this is to go to settings, keyboard and mouse, and then scroll down until you find flashbang and HE grenades. To get the best radar in the game, which allows you to see the whole map, type these two commands. And if you've ever wondered how to spawn chickens, type SV underscore cheats one. This will give you more control over the map and the rules of the game. And then type ent underscore create chicken and boom, a chicken. For all the people who want to practice smoke lineups or flashes, you need to know these commands. Go to practice, competitive, select infinite ammo, infinite warm up and grenade camera. If you then buy a smoke and throw it, you will have about 20 seconds for it to disappear. But by typing this command, the smoke will just be cleared. You can also bind it to any key by typing the following. Then just replace the word key with whatever bind you want it to be. If you want to test your flashes, just type bind O SV refro last grenade. And this will refro your last piece of utility every time you press O. Also, make sure to type C man in the console. This way you can get up to $5 for free when you trade all your skins for the condom man. As well as this, you're able to enter the daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways completely for free. If you want to trade your skins quickly with no hardships, Skins Monkey is your solution, and they will solve any problems using their 24 7 support. Thank you, Skins Monkey, for sponsoring this video. I had all of these amazing commands prepared for you guys, which all help with the position of your weapon. But because workshop maps are officially back in the game now, you can just load into this map, which is linked in the description, and you can customize your gun position. I bet most of you didn't know that you can bind text commands to different keys on your keyboard. For example, every time I press P, it plugs my Twitch. <clears throat> Link in the description. To do this, type bind P, say I love people, for example. And now every time you press P, it will say in chat, I love people. Now that we have all of these amazing binds and commands, we need to make an auto exec file. Otherwise, the binds and commands will not run every time you start CS2. There is two ways to do this. The first, which is the easiest, is to paste them into the CS2 launch options and separate them by a dash but I do suggest you make an auto exec file as it is more organized and easier to edit or delete any of the binds or commands. To do this, right click on CS2, click on manage, and then on browse local game files. Now click on your game folder, then click on CSGO and CFG. Just in case you already have an auto execute file, go to the top, click on view, and check the file name extension and hidden items boxes. Now to add the auto execute, right click on the side, click new, and then click on text document. Select the whole name, including the text at the end, and type auto exec.cfg. Now double click on it, click open with notepad, and paste all of the binds you've just made into this new file. At the very end, you have to write host underscore write config. This just helps CS2 with running the commands. Now just save the file by closing it and clicking save, and open up CS2, boom. If your commands do not load, you've probably written the file wrong or put it in the wrong location.